Right. She's played with that dog. I know she's very familiar dog. with that dog, and it is a puppy. She's very familiar with the dog. Right. I know that she's afraid, and, and I feel right. bad for her. Have you ever touched the dog, man? I don't recall, Your Honor. She has touched the dog. No. Right. She ha it was a big deal when she right. touched the so, dog. Right. So the point is this. It doesn't really matter. You could talk to your turn blue in the face. None of us, if you read the leash laws, once your dog passes your door threshold, your dog is supposed to be on a leash. But does because think anything could have happened that day. This lady could have just panicked. It could maybe it wasn't her. Somebody just happened to be walking down the street, and your dog comes barreling out the front door, and that person runs into the street and gets hit by the car. You're responsible. You know, so what do we learn from this lesson? To keep my dog on a leash okay. and make sure that we don't. And, and if you don't keep your dog on a leash. You might scare some crazy lady into no, dumping no, her no, kid no, out in the stroller. You know, she she could have had the baby the sidewalk every other day. She, she could have had the, you know what, I've What's never seen like without, without well, seat belts. Why didn't you, if you strapped your kid excuse in? Excuse me, y'all want to talk kid. outside? Y'all want to talk each other? Scrap, your right? dog was not Judgment on for the, the plaintiff in the amount of $248.98. Good luck, people. All rise. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $248.88. I hope you keep your dog on a leash. I hope you get some counseling for your problem.